attendance for you to sign uh, today's attendance. So the link is over here. Bueno, por acá les envío el link de la asistencia para que la firmemos. Eh, vamos, la firmamos y volvemos. Entonces, en un minutito empezamos la clase como tal. All right. Thank you. All right, so we are going to begin the class. Today we are going to see the third part of the physical description. Today we finish with this topic, right? I'm going to share the screen over here. This is the PDF that we are working on today. Uh, I already sent you this to the WhatsApp group. Yes, it is already in the WhatsApp group so that you can practice. So we have physical descriptions, right? And we have here, Wait a second, I'm going to use the board. So, she is plump, she is plump, she is thin, the contrary, yes? Plump, remember, that is kind of informal English. Esto es un inglés un poquito más informal, ¿sí? ¿Qué quiere decir? Como gordita, ¿sí? Es un poquito más informal, right? She is plump, she is thin. So we continue over here. He is short. He is short. He is tall. Right? The contrary. This is the height. Altura. Yes? Height. Altura. We continue over here. He has got blue eyes. She has got brown eyes remember this structure has got has got esto quiere decir tiene 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 right he has got blue eyes she has got brown eyes so we continue now this is a question has she got blue eyes Ella tiene ojos azules, question mark. That is a question. So you can answer, yes. She has got blue eyes. Or no, she has not got blue eyes. Yes, two options. In this case, I guess this yes. I guess yes. We continue. He has got short hair. He has got long hair. Short, long, the contrary. We continue. She has got blonde hair and she has got straight hair yes so over here blonde that is rubio A straight that is lacio yes blonde straight we continue over here he has got ginger hair ginger hair is this students how do you say ginger hair in spanish what do you think Despeinado, desordenado. 
Mm, it's more about the color. Yes, it's more about the color. Rojizo? Yes. Rojizo o anaranjado. Yes, ginger hair. Rojizo o anaranjado. He has got ginger hair, right? Well, we continue. She has got curly hair. Curly hair. Yes. Students, how do you say she has got curly hair in Spanish? Rizado. Yes. Ella tiene cabello crespo o rizado. Yes, that's good. We continue over here. He's young, he is old. Yes. Young, contrary, old. We continue over here. She is wearing glasses. Wearing. Ella está usando. Recordemos que para los accesorios o incluso para la ropa, nosotros utilizamos el verbo wear, que es llevar puesto. Llevar puesto. O usar. Yes. Wear. Llevar puesto o usar. She is wearing glasses. We continue. Now we have, he has got a beard and a mustache. Students, what is this in Spanish? Él tiene barba y bigote. Yes, very good, Jesse. Él tiene barba y bigote. We continue. So, describing how people look. Describiendo cómo lucen, cómo lucen las personas. Yes, how people look. So, here we have match the words. We are going to match uh, the contrary. So, for example, tall. What is the contrary of tall? Tall, that would be short. Yes. Uh, Jose, what is the contrary of young? The contrary. Old. Very good. Old. And finally, teen, the contrary, overweight. Yes? Students, how do you say overweight in Spanish? Arrugas? No, in this case. No, no, no. Yes. Oh, Sobrepeso. Yes, o eso o sobrepeso. Don't worry. O eso o una persona con sobrepeso. Porque teen significa delgado. Yes. All right. We continue. So, over here we have this vocabulary. Ahí. Bueno, ahí se ve. Ahora, nosotros utilizamos tres verbos cuando estamos describiendo las personas. Él tiene, he has, él es, verbo to be, he wears, verbo usar, ¿sí? Entonces, acá estamos utilizando el verbo have, que es el verbo tener. Acá estamos utilizando el verbo to be, que es el verbo ser o estar. Y acá estamos utilizando el verbo wear, que es el verbo llevar puesto. Yes. Llevar puesto. So, here we have these categories, yes? Acá tenemos estas categorías o estas descripciones. Vamos a decir con cuál de estos tres eh, verbos o con cuál de estas tres estructuras va cada una de estas descripciones, yes? So, for example, it's really similar to, um, eh, to Spanish. Realmente es muy parecido al español porque yo digo, yo tengo, yo tengo cabello largo, ¿sí? Yes. Tener, acá estoy utilizando el verbo tener, have. Entonces diría, he has long hair, ¿sí? Yes. He has long hair, ¿sí? Yes. Now, number two. Um, Tati, can you help me with number two? Blonde hair, blonde hair. ¿Con cuál de estas tres? Eh, categorías o verbos utilizo esta descripción blonde hair
She has yes, very good. She has blonde hair. She has blonde hair. Now uh, this word, this word or here wrinkles. Ahorita le habíamos dicho yes, wrinkles. Esto ya es arrugas. Yes, wrinkles, arrugas. So. With which category or with which verb do we use wrinkles? With which category? Jesse, what do you think? He has wrinkles. Very good. He has wrinkles. Yes, he has wrinkles. Él tiene arrugas. Now, brown hair. Brown hair. Eh, Santi, can you help me with this one, please? Brown hair. Eh, he has brown hair. Very good. He has brown hair. Él tiene cabello café. Curly hair, curly hair. Uh, consuelo, please, with curly hair. She, she has? Yes, very good. Curly. Yes. Hair. Yes, yes, very good. Thank you, Consuelo. She has curly hair. Ella tiene cabello eh, rizado o crespo. Yes. Now, look at this. Bald. Bald. ¿Con cuál verbo decimos que alguien es calvo? Question for Lore, please. He is bald. Very good. Acá ya utilizamos el verbo to be. Yes. Como en el español. Él es calvo. O él está calvo. He is bald. Voy a copiarlo por acá arriba porque no. No me cabe. Yes. He is bald. Right? Short hair. Short hair. And this is a question for Mercedes, please. Eh, eh, has, yes, este, he has, yes, very good, short hair, short hair, yes, very good. he has short hair, él tiene cabello corto, yes, very good, gray hair, gray hair, Cabello gris, lo mismo. He has gray hair. Yes, he has gray hair. Now with glasses, students, what do we use with glasses? Which verb do we use with glasses? ¿Qué verbo utilizamos ya con el elemento de las gafas? He wears. Very good. He wears glasses. Ya con las gafas debemos utilizar el verbo wear. Ay. Wait a second. He wears glasses. Yes. A beard. Over here. Vamos a hacerla por acá. Estamos quedando sin espacio. A beard, he has. Yes, él tiene una barba. He has a beard. And finally, freckles. Students, how do you say freckles in Spanish? Pecas. Pecas, very good. So, he has. Él tiene. Yes, he has. 
He has reflex. All right, students, questions, doubts until here? No questions? But I'm going to erase. Remember these three verbs. Recordemos entonces estos tres verbos que utilizamos al momento de escribir. El tiene, he has. El es o el está, he is. He wears. El usa. Yes, three verbs. So we continue you, over here. Yes. Una pregunta. Yes. Yo me doy cuenta que has eh, significa tiene y good también significa tiene. ¿En yeah. qué momento? Has sí me di cuenta en qué momento lo utilizo. Pero good, eh, pues no vi que lo utilizáramos como en este momento. Lo vi fue en las... Eh, en los anteriores. Sí, sí, sí. Eh, yes, ah, don't worry, don't confuse. Yes. Lo que pasa es que esta estructura eh, se utiliza más que todo en un inglés británico. Esto es lo sí. mismo, esta frase de abajo, he has got, es lo mismo que la frase de arriba, he has, es lo mismo, ¿sí? Ah, Solo que okay, el inglés escucho. es un poco más americano y la de abajo es un poco más británico. Ah, pero eso ah. significa lo mismo, el tiene okay. y el tiene. Yes. Ah, bueno, se me quedó esa duda. Bueno, thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. Yes, both are correct. Las dos son correctas, se pueden usar en, en cualquier contexto, eh, solo que una pues tiene una tendencia más a ser de un inglés británico. Se utiliza más un poquito acá en el inglés británico, pero entonces las dos se pueden usar. Yes. All right, we continue. So how we spell these words? Spellings. Spellings, short, gray, wrinkles, glasses, brown, bird, curly, freckles, bald. Here we have, ay, wait a second. Spelling se refiere a cómo escribimos estas palabras, yes, a cómo las escribimos, pero también a cómo las pronunciamos. So I need a volunteer to pronounce these words over here. A volunteer, please, to read the words. Your teacher. Consuelo, okay, very good. Short, gray, sprinkles, glasses, brown, bear, curly, fragrance, what? Yes, bad. very good. Yes, very good pronunciation. Thank you very much, Consuelo. All right, students, remember, ring close. That is arrugas. Yes, it's the new word. Las otras palabritas ya las habíamos utilizado anteriormente. All right, we are going to move on because we have a lot of exercises. So we are going to move on. But remember the spellings. Yes, remember the spellings. La forma correcta en que se escriben estas palabras. Now we continue over here. Ay. We are going to organize the sentences. Yes, vamos a organizar las eh, las oraciones, cada una de ellas tiene las palabras desordenadas, ¿sí? Curly, he, he, has. Vamos a ordenarlas para que quede una oración lógica, ¿all right? So, for example, number one, Curly, he, he, has, sería, he has curly hair. He has curly hair. Recuerden que en inglés el adjetivo siempre va antes que el sustantivo, ¿sí? Yo digo blue car, carro azul, ¿yes? O big car, carro grande, pero el adjetivo, el que me describe eh, este sustantivo, siempre va antes que el sustantivo, ¿yes? Porque a veces solemos pensar en español y como en español nosotros decimos carro grande, carro azul, primero al, el sustantivo, en inglés no, es, ese no es el orden, ¿yes? So, he has curly hair, yes? Primero al adjetivo, all right? Number two, what is the correct order? That is very easy. Yes, very good, Jose. He is bald. He is bald. Now, number three. Long, blonde, she, hair, has. ¿Cuál sería el orden correcto de esta oración? 
Yes, Mercedes, yes. She has long eye brown. Mm, I think I'm going to say she has long, long, Yes, very good, Jose. She has long blonde hair. Yes, long blonde hair. That is the correct order. She has long blonde hair. We continue with this one. Short black he hair has. What is the correct order? Primero al largor. Yes. He has. Yes. Mm. Short. Yes. Black. He has short. Short. Black. Black. Shy. Yes, perfect. Very good. He has short black hair. Primero va el largor del cabello, después va el color y finalmente la palabra cabello. Yes, very good. We continue. I we continue. Number five. What is the correct order? She has short brown hair. Very good. Yes, perfect. We're going to do it here. So, she has short brown hair. Yes, she has short brown hair. And the last one over here, what is the correct order? She has, yes, long gray hair. Hair. Yes. Yes, very good. She has long gray hair. Ella tiene cabello largo y gris. Yes. So, students, remember, first we use or we put the, uh, the length. Primero ponemos el largor. Yes, el largor. Después va el color. Después va el color. Y finalmente va la palabra hair. Yes, hair. Este es el orden correcto de los adjetivos, right? Or here. So, questions, doubts? What is your... All right, we continue. Well, describing hair. So, when describing hair, we have to do it in this order. Cuando estamos describiendo el cabello, debemos hacerlo en este orden, in this order, yes? Length, largor, styled, and color, yes? So, long or short, that is the length, style, curly or straight, yes? And color, in this case, brown or gray, yes? Acá ya tenemos tres características. Este es el orden de las características, yes? So, we have here some examples. Ay, wait a second. We have here some examples, right? Um, Tati, can you help me with the reading of the examples, please? So, number yes. one. She has long blonde hair. Yes, very good. Number two, please. She has short, cool, black hair. Yes. Number three, please. She has short, straight, brown hair. Yes. And the last one, please. She has long, gray hair. 
Yes, thank you very much, Tati. I'm going to use another color. I'm going to use the blue color. All right, so look. Here we have the three characteristics. En el ejemplo número dos y número, y número tres, tenemos las tres características. Largor, length, curly, tenemos el estilo, styled, black, tenemos el color, yes, color. Las tres características, largor, estilo y color. ¿Cómo es el orden? Primero largor, después estilo y finalmente color. Y ya podemos poner la palabra hair, yes. So, she has long blonde hair, ella tiene cabello largo y mono. Él tiene cabello corto, crespo y negro. Ella tiene cabello corto, lacio y café. Y ella tiene cabello largo y gris. Yes. Now, students, knowing these three characteristics, sabiendo estas tres características y el orden, cada uno de ustedes me va a explicar cómo es el cabello de ustedes. Yes. So, for example, you are going to say, I have. Acá ya no podemos utilizar el has. Has significa tiene, ¿sí? Yo debo utilizar el have. Voy a bajar un poquito acá. So, we use, I have. Voy a utilizar el largor, ya sea long or short. Yes. También podemos decir medium length. Medium length. Ay. Medium length. ¿Qué significa? Eh, largor mediano, yes. Después el estilo, curly, straight. Recuerden que también podemos utilizar wavy, que es ondulado. Y finalmente el color. Acá nos falta el color negro. O si ustedes son monos, blonde, yes. So, you are going to explain your hair. Me van a explicar cómo es su cabello. Recuerden que vamos a utilizar I have, yo tengo, I have, ta, 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 ta. Yes. Lo podemos escribir por acá es en el... Bien, yes. Ondulado es... Wavy. Qué pena la... la... Yes. Wavy. Wavy ondulado. Yeah. All right. Vamos entonces a escribir acá en el chat cómo nos quedaría la frase. Ok, yo estoy pendiente acá del chat. Very good, Jesse. Very good. I have long, wavy black hair. I have medium length, straight brown hair. Yes, very good, Lore. Pay attention to the spelling of straight. Yes. Straight por ahí se te fue una N, de pronto fue un errorcito. So we have horses right, Jess is right. Short, curly, gray hair. You have gray hair, Tati? That's really cool. All right, uh, remember wavy is con V, yes, wavy, wavy. And the other ones, long wavy hair. Yes, very good, Consuelo. All right. And Santi, how is your hair? All right, we are going to move on. Por acá yo estoy pendiente del chat. Vamos a pasar entonces a la siguiente actividad. Here we have six characters. Tenemos seis personajes. Tenemos una descripción. Vamos a decir cuál es el personaje correcto. Character number one, character number two, 
character number three, yes? Remember, in English we say character para referirnos a un personaje. Character, yes? So, this question is for Jose, please. In character is number two. Number two. Well, uh, can you read the description, please? Puedes leer la descripción. Hello, Jose, are you there? Jose, are you listening to me? Yo creo que perdimos la conexión con Jose. All right, so we have, she has long, blonde, blonde, I, Blonde hair, yes? Long blonde hair. Acá está la clave. So, students, what is the correct character? What is the correct character? Very good. Character number five. That is the correct character, yes? We continue. Question number two. This is for Mercedes, please. Puedes leer la descripción over here. He has a bear. He has a bear. He, he has a bear. What a is number, character? Number four. Character number four. Yes, very good. We continue. Thank you, Mercedes. Now, this one, this is for uh, Consuelo, please. He has fresh uh, number number two. Number which? Uh, two. 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 He has freckles. Freckles. Yes. How do you say freckles? Uh, Excuse me, yes. pecas. <laughs> no, we only go on pecos. Será six? Es que no lo identifico entre el tri. Six. That is six. That is six. Yes. Character number six. Yes. Thanks to you. Yes. Freckles. Yes. El tiene pecas. Character number six. Thank you, Consuelo. Yes. We continue. Over here, this is a question for Tati, please. Um, Can you read the question, please? He has short, straight brown hair. Yes. Number two? Number two. Yes, very good. She has short, straight brown hair. Yes, brown hair. So that is the clue. Character number two. Are you good, Tati? Thank you. All right. Now, students, you are going to describe each character. Yes. So, for example, Character number one. Jesse, can you help me with the description of the character number one, please? Okay, teacher. Um, she's young. Young, yes. She has, has long, wavy, blonde hair, hair. Very good, perfect. What else? Oh, uh, she has big mouth. Yes, mouth. big mouth. Very good. Uh, he has a small eyes. Eyes. Small eyes. Yes. Which color? Uh, black. So a small black. Small eyes. black eyes. Very good. Small. All right, yes, that's a very good description. Thank you very much, Jessie. So she is young. She has long, wavy blonde hair. She has a big mouth, una boca grande, and she has small black eyes. Very good. 
Now, character number two. Lore, can you help me with the description of character number two, please? He, he has a um, brown hair. Very good, brown hair. He has um, no, he is bald. He is bald, yes. He is mustache and beard. Yes, he has a mustache and a beard. He wear um, glasses. Yes, he wears glasses. He wears glasses. Yes. And finished. Um, yes. Okay, yes, no problem. That's a very good description. He has brown hair. He is bald. Yes, he is also bald. He has a mustache and a beard, and he wears glasses. Very good, Lore. Thank you very much. Now we continue. Character number three. This is for Santi, please. Okay. Uh, he has um, who do you say pelo pintado? Uh, well, I don't remember how to say that. You can say blonde, yes. Okay, he has blonde hair and he has a big smile. Very good. He has a, a big smile. Yes. And finished. I'm finished. Well, okay. no, no. And he has a little eyes. He has little eyes. Yes. All right. Little black eyes. We can say little black eyes. All right, yes, very good. He has blonde hair, he has a big smile, he has little black eyes. Yes, very good, Santi, thank you very much. Now we continue with the character number four. And Ange, can you help me with the description of the character number four, please? Yes, dear. Um, she has um, a straight, a straight. Yes. Uh, um and short hair a straight and short, and short hair well, short that would be short and straight he has short ah perdón primero se dice el tamaño sí short yeah. and el largo and yeah. straight eh, cómo se dice rojizo profe ginger short short straight, straight. And Straight. yes, and ginger hair, and ginger hair, yes. Eh, okay, what else? Eh, no, yo así que es solo sobre el pelo, sí. No, no, ah, bueno, no. Eh, she has a little, little, little eyes, little, what color? Eh, black. Little black eyes, black yes. eyes, uh, um, big uh, son, a smile. Yes, very good, and a big smile. Yes, perfect. That's a very good description. Thank you very much, Thank you. Thank you. She has short, straight, and ginger hair. She has little black eyes and a big smile. That's a very good description. All right. We continue with Tati. You are going to describe this character, please. Over here, the character number five, okay? Um, he, he has? He has. He has short and uh, yeah, brown, 
¿Sí? Oh. ¿Y yo? ¿Want to say the hair? Yes. Short, short brown, brown hair. Yes, very good. Short brown hair. Uh, ¿Qué me vas a decir? <laughs> Well, maybe the eyes. What color are the eyes? Um, black. Yeah. He ha he has black eyes. Yes, very good. Black eyes and the smile or the mouth. Uh, he has the smile. He has a smile. Yes. Or maybe a big smile. You can say a big smile to use an adjective. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Bueno, este personaje sí está un poquito simple. But yes. Mm -hmm. Thank Mucho. you, Tati. <laughs> he has short brown hair. He has black eyes. He has a big smile. Yes, very good. Now with this one, this one, and this is for Jose, please, que ahorita se te fue la conexión, no pudiste participar. Yes, teacher. She has a long nose. Yes, he has a long or a big nose. Let's say a big nose. Big nose, yes. Uh, uh, she have. Uh, he has. She have. Uh, yes. Uh, she has ball. Ah, but he is bald. He is bald. She has old. He is old. Yes. Old. Acuérdate que yes. es un hombre, entonces decimos he. 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 Yeah, yes. He. Eh, he is eh, face. Eh, eh, she is face eh, ¿Cómo le digo? A, a la cara arrugada oh, well, She is a face What? Ripples He has ripples Yes Yes El tiene Yes ripples. Yes eh, eh, La cara arrugada Con la cara arrugada O sea El Winkles Winkles Eh, yes. Él tiene arrugas, yes. Yes. What else? The hair. The hair. The hair. The hair. What color is the hair? Because he's bald, but he also has hair, yes? Yes. So he has. El cabello, ¿cómo lo puedes describir? Eh, short. 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 Uh, gray, gray. Yes, short gray hair. This hair. Yes. Yes, yes, that's a very good description. Thank you very much, Jose. So, yes. he has a big nose, he is bald, he is old, he has wrinkles, and he has short gray hair. Yes, very good. All right, students. So, these two characters are for you if you want to describe them and send me the description. That's up to you, right? Eh, nos quedan estos dos. Si los quieren describir como tarea, la pueden mandar al grupo. Yo estaré ahí eh, revisándoles. ¿sí? Tarea voluntaria. Yes. Eh, nos quedan entonces estos dos. So, we are going to move on over here. So, look at these pictures. Do you recognize them? Say what their names are. But here we already have the names, yes? So we have Eminem, Triana, Vin Diesel, Lawrence Fishburne, Jennifer Lopez, Kenny Rips, Bob Marley, Amy Winehouse, Gordon Ramsay, Angelina Jolie. Now we have 
the description or the descriptions of these character, these characters. Yes, I'm going to put it bigger. Chicos, ahí alcanzan a ver. Okay, alcanzan a ver la letra. Yes, is it good? Yes, okay. Yes, teacher. Right. Okay, perfect. So, uh, wait a second. We are going to read the first description. I need a volunteer to read the first description, please. Me. Who said me? Yes. Lore, okay. Thank you very much. The person has got dark skin. He is his thin and tall. He, her, a, r. Blue and he, she has cologne, strain, black hair. He, she is wearing a black dress, wing and belt. Yes, very good. The person has got dark skin. Dark skin. Yes. Ay, wait a second. He or she, acá utilizamos los dos porque no sabemos si es un hombre o una mujer el que nos están describiendo. La idea es adivinar, entonces, si nos dicen she, ya sabemos que es una mujer. O si nos dicen he, ya sabemos que es un hombre. Por eso se utilizan los dos pronombres. He, she, él o ella es delgado o delgada, thin and tall. His, her eyes are blue. Yes. She has got long, straight, black hair. He, she is wearing a black dress. Está usando un vestido negro. So, Lore, what do you think is the character? What is the correct character? Character number two. Character number two. Very good. That's it. That's Rihanna. Yes. Dark skin. Tiene piel morena. Yes. Y realmente acá es donde está el, el, la clave. Yes. She's wearing a black dress, está usando un vestido, recuerden que dress es vestido negro, con un cinturón, a belt, un cinturón, yes? Very good. We continue with the second description. I need another volunteer, please. Me, teacher. teacher. Okay, Ángel, thank you. Okay, um, bueno, the person has got light skin. He, she has got short and blonde, blonde hair, brown eyes, a small and pointed nose. 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 Perdón, nose. Nose. He, she uh, is tall and slim. He, she is wearing a dark tee, a white shirt and a watch. All right, very good. Thank you very much, Angel. So look, here dark skin, piel morena. Acá, piel blanca o piel clara, light skin, yes? He has got short blonde hair, blonde hair, yes? Brown eyes, small pointed nose, una nariz, nariz pequeña y puntiaguda, pointed, yes? He is tall and slim, es alto y Flaco, slim. He's wearing a dark tie. Está usando una corbata. Tie, yes, dark tie. A white shirt. Una camisa blanca. So, Angie, what is the correct character? Number one. Number no. one, Eminem. Yes, very good. Number one, Eminem. Or here. Very good. We have the tier description. Another volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Okay, uh, Consuelo, thank you very much. The person has good brown skin. He, she has good long uh, baby, 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 lean, brown, high. His hair is are brown and almond, uh, chested, chested. He, ha, he, she is tall and slim. He, she is uh, wearing a beige blouse, a gray skirt, and the sandals. Sandals and sandals. sandals. All right, very good. The person has brown has got sorry 
brown skin, yes, brown skin, es piel morenita, ay, ay, se nos fue, se nos fue el tablero, Uy, ah, no, acá ya está, voy a seco, all right, vamos a acomodarlo por acá, he, she has got wavy, light, brown hair, yes, His, her eyes are brown and almond shaped. Almond quiere decir almendra, ¿sí? O sea, con forma de almendras. Los ojos son con formas de almendras, right? Here, he, she is tall and slim. Es alto o alta y delgado. Yes? He, she is wearing a beige blues. Beige blues. Yes? So, uh, here, that is the clue. Acá realmente está la clave. Beige blues. A gray skirt. Wow. Yes. Wow. Una falda, una falda gris. Gray skills, skirt. And sandals. So, Consuelo, what is the correct character? Number five, teacher. Character number five. Very good. Character yes. number five. All right, students, do you have questions or doubts? We're going to finish here. On Monday, we continue with the other activities, right? About describing people, and then we move on to another new topic. So, do you have questions or doubts? Ah, oh, yes, the attendance. Thank you. Yes. No, teacher. All right. So, students, thank you very much. Have a nice weekend. See you on Monday. Right. Goodbye. Goodbye, Bye, teacher. teacher. Goodbye, teacher. Bye, teacher, a uh, question. Yes. Uh, esto que um, revisamos hoy, tú lo enviaste, uh, es lo que enviaste al WhatsApp? Yes, es, ahí ya está el PDF en el grupo. Ah, bueno, para repasar. Listo, profe, yes. muchas gracias. All right, you're welcome. Buen día, profe, chao. Same, see you. Goodbye, Bye. teacher. Goodbye.